Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm sharing you with you what I typically eat in a day. This tea was a gift to me recently. It's a black tea and it's a hot cinnamon flavored and it's great because it doesn't require any added sugar and it's what I've been drinking in place of coffee as of late. And this video is actually a requested video uh, by a subscriber friend and it's part of my subscriber love month. So I hope you will enjoy just taking a peek at what I typically eat in a day. So I really love eggs in the morning and this is really simple to put together, only three ingredients. I know, I know I'm using a fork here but it works for me and it's fine. That's if I even scramble the eggs. Sometimes I just put them right in the skillet and scramble in the skillet. So what I'm going to do is just basically saute some spinach and I typically put in the skillet more than I think I need because it really dwindles down once you get it sauteed. Then after it's all sauteed well, I'm going to be adding in the eggs and I'll cook that for a little bit. And then I'll be adding in some feta cheese. And I like how the feta sort of melts into the eggs and adds a lot of flavor. And you'll notice I'm not putting any sort of seasonings in this because with the feta, it really, to me, that is, it's just perfect. It's not too much, not too little. It's just right on target. So I like to plate up all of our food in the house. So I'll be preparing for my husband and I. And there's one splurge, uh, well, yes, pretty much one splurge I have at the grocery store, and it's good bagels and good bread. So I really like these Dave's Everything Bagels, and they're typically on sale at our local Food Lion. And I do slather on the cream cheese. <laughs> I always like to have some sort of fruit in the morning. Usually it's a clementine. And then I have to get to have breakfast with this cutie, and one of my happy places. I love mornings, I love breakfast. Then I have a morning snack and so I like to cut up some bananas and some strawberries and some kiwis. This is a surprisingly good combo. I had it once at Ben's mom's place. She made us a parfait like this and I really love these fruits together. So I'm just going to top with some yogurt. This is not sweetened. It's a Dannon yogurt, whole milk. And then on top of that, I'm really loving this Nature Valley almond butter granola. I'd love to make my own granola at some point, but this has been just quite delicious. It's just enough sweetness added to the sour yogurt and sometimes tart fruit. Next are going to be showing you my lunch. So I like to take these flat out um, breads and I will put them in the skillet and kind of toast them, warm them on both sides. It usually takes about a minute on each side. Then I'm going to add some sort of deli meat. Sometimes it's turkey, then sometimes roast beef. And then I'll put some kind of cheese on it, whatever we have it in the fridge. And I've started to actually add the cheese to the flatbread in the skillet so that it melts on the flatbread. And that's been really good. Purple onions are great on this, spinach, um, and then our favorite dressing or whatever we have on hand. Paired with a little bit of fruit, that's a really healthy um, and light lunch. Then for an afternoon snack, I like to have some sort of a nut and a dried fruit. And typically I'll have cheese with this as well, like a cubed cheese. Now for dinner, we're gonna be having some quinoa that I've prepared and some leftover rice. I think quinoa really burns up quickly, at least for me in my tummy. So I like to pair it with a little bit of rice so that it has more of a lasting power. And then we're going to be um, cooking up some uh, frozen veggies and some oil and I'll 
Cook it for about 10 minutes, then I'll add a homemade sauce. I'll have the recipe for that below, the homemade sauce. And it has like ginger and soy sauce and some oyster sauce and even some maple syrup. It's really tasty. Toward the end of when I cook the vegetables, I'll add some freshly um, cut green onions. I don't like to put them in too early because I don't like them too wilted. And then I'm going to add some leftover baked chicken that I had on hand. So, but you can add any kind of protein or seafood to this. It's just really, really tasty. Okay, so we're just going to plate this up. That's a really simple dinner to put together. It's tasty, it's healthy, it's got all the veggies and the quinoa. And then I'll put a little bit of pickled ginger on the side just to have something a little fresh. And sometimes I'll put a sa side salad with um, some sesame dressing and that's really yummy. Thank you so much for joining me in this video today. I hope you enjoyed just taking a peek at what I typically eat in a day. I would love to know specifically, what do you like for your lunches? And you can leave that in the comments below. And I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye.